So if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe and go ahead and like this video too while you're at it. Today we're going to be doing a deep side part and I'm going to show you guys how I slick down this 4C hair. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm taking my Cantu leave-in conditioner and I'm just going to put that all over my already damp hair. So to begin, you want to start off by sectioning off your hair and Jesus, look at that kitchen. <laughs> Luckily, we're about to fix that. So using my Eco Styler Gel, as well as a hard bristled brush, I just go back and forth, smoothing the hair. And it's very best to work in sections and layers so you can get it really flat and really smooth. So essentially, in the end, the ponytail will be really, really sleek. So I'm just doing that first off starting in the back. Um, take your time, detangle, get the gel on there, smooth it down because it is a process y'all. And now I'm trying to get my deep part. Um, yeah, this natural hair journey has been quite the journey y'all. Like the front of my hair is still, you know, trying to grow back. Um, it was really damaged from braids and when I was putting chemicals on my hair. So when it does get to all one length, I'll be able to, you know, flourish with this natural hair. But as for now, I do like this look because I can get my front really sleek because it's kind of damaged. So, yeah. But as you can see, I'm just continuing everything. And I get a little weird the way I start sectioning off my hair. But honestly, just do whatever works for you. I like to do medium, um, I mean, small to medium sections. Because um, nobody has time to sit here and do paper thin sections y'all like I know my ponytail would have been better But I don't have the strength nor the energy to do that. So I go medium Sections and I'm just sectioning it off crazy to be honest right now But hey, it'll get the job done So this front part of my hair is shorter than the rest and it kind of didn't reach the ponytail. So I had to like really um, put a lot of gel right there and keep smoothing it down. So if you have hair that won't fit the ponytail, you can still sleep your hair. You just are going to need a lot of gel and patience and you just got to keep putting gel on there and brushing it and it'll go down. So as you can see, this part won't reach the ponytail, but I'm just going to pray and <laughs> try. Just keep brushing it and adding gel and it'll lay down. And finally, I've gotten into ponytail. Thank you, Jesus, y'all. That took a long time and it made my arms hurt and I was tired. But now I'm just taking my comb and combing um, all the hair down. And I like going in with this comb because you guys remember I didn't put any heat on this hair. So I wasn't expecting it to lay down completely flat. So when I used the comb, I felt like it just kind of gave it a more sleek, uh, clean look. I got some time just to tell you I don't. Relaxing your mind and you know you at ease. You taking your time when you taking it off. Looking back at me, I know that you bleed. And now I'm going in with some Murray's Edge Wax and I'm going over it. Don't be like me. Work it into your hands first and then rub it into your hair and go ahead and take your brush and just lay down all the flyaways. So onto the edges, I'm using this Edge Booster um, and Hole Pomade. And um, 
you know I wouldn't recommend to run out and go buy that I also had to go in with my edge wax as well but combined they work pretty well I also have a video on how I do my edges and I'll link it in the description box so you guys can go ahead and watch that if you want to learn how I do my edges And there you have it. Edges looking like they were laid by Jesus himself. Okay. So now I'm going in with the Gatsubi hairspray, the yellow one. And I'm just going to lay down those flyaways. I don't know if you can see them, but I had little fuzzies sticking up and I was not going for that. So I'm taking my silk scarf and I'm just going to tie up my hair. And I recommend sleeping with it overnight because... It takes a while for the hair to dry and if you can't do that just like at least wear it for a couple of hours and y'all I was mad happy because this is so hard. So now I'm taking my braiding hair. I was just using what I had and it's the Expressions braiding hair in color 1B. Y'all it's super super duper long. So what I did was I took the already folded hair and I folded it in half again. And what I'm going to do right now is make a little ponytail kind of like a little you know them little ponytails you used to wear back in the day your mom would like force you to wear kind of make one of those like a makeshift one using a rubber band and I'm just going to cut that little fold how I told you guys I had to like fold over the hair so I'm just cutting that and then um, I'm just pulling at the hair at the bottom so it won't look blunt when I do my ponytail and now I'm attaching the ponytail it's really simple at all just tie it onto the back of your hair I put my little ponytail into a little baby bun and now I'm just braiding it down once your braid is nice and secured you're just gonna add some flexi rods to the ends this is just to give it a cute little curl and I'm just going to take a blanket to protect myself from the hot water y'all this water is freaking hot I'm going to heat it up for three minutes and I'm just dipping the braid in there so it'll have a nice little curl at the end. And now I'm just making sure my ponytail is extra secure. I just added bobby pins. Y'all, attaching the ponytail is so simple. Um, but just make sure it's secure because the most embarrassing thing ever would be if you're out in public and this shit fell off. Like, <laughs> that would be so embarrassing. But yeah, oh my goodness. Y'all, I was so proud of myself. Um, but yeah. I'm just going in and pulling apart the ponytail so it'll be nice and fluffy. And because I'm so extra, I'm adding some gold clips that I got from the beauty supply store. They're only like a dollar. And I'm just gonna put them randomly all over the ponytail. yeah I'm done guys this is the finished look I love this look it was super cute don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you so much for watching